Let's Come take on. a look at a piece that actually I really like. Um, research team put together this piece because we get a lot of questions about, um, uh, like, should I should I should I close out my iron condor when it's not working? Okie dokie. You know, it's a wide iron condor. It's a synthetic strangler. Should I close it out when it's not working? Um, what do you think? Uh, should I close out my iron condor when it's not working? Is that the question? That's the question. And a relatively tight iron condor. We're talking about one strike, five dollars. Fairly dollars. wide, a little bit wider. A little bit wider, like a ten dollar. Like a ten dollar. I would say no. So, by the way, this is sponsored by the CBOE. So we decided to do something with this. We called it loss tolerant iron condors. We said if we put a stop in, whether it's a hard stop or just a mental stop, whatever it is, are you better off with iron condors stopping yourself out at a loss? Like let's say you collect a dollar credit on a five dollar wide iron condor, just as an example. Are you better off like stopping yourself off at a loss of like, you know, a hundred percent, fifty percent, thirty five percent? You know, does it make sense, or are you mm -hmm. just going to back yourself into a corner and 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 ruin your potential for returns? So we took a look. Let's go. Okay. Stop loss, stop loss orders are, oh my God, did you see Costco? Oh, it's only 10, I'm sorry, I thought it was worse. Stop loss orders are a popular mechanism to get out of trades that have gone bad. This is not necessarily a hard stop, this could be a mental stop too. It's just, you know, stop loss, we're talking about just you know, pick a number. So whether mm -hmm. it's a real stop loss order or a mental stop loss order, it doesn't matter. But in a fast movie market, there's no guarantee what price they'll execute at. Defined risk trades such as iron condors have a natural downside protection from their long strikes. So you know ahead of time how bad, you know, anything can get. It's all defined risk. So then the question becomes, is having stop loss orders on iron condors a useful additional line of defense or were traders better off staying in these positions in case they turned around. Tony said, better off staying in the positions. Is that correct? Yeah, we've done the research and it looks like it's de minimis one way or the other. It's small to, to but I think on a tight sh iron condor, you're not rolling, right? Or anything? No rolling here, just in or out. Yeah, I, I would say you stick with it. I, that would be my guess. Let's take a look. You have the built in stop would be my, is my thinking. Let's take a look. So we, did, the we took 20 years of data from the SPY. We sold 45-day iron condors with a variety of initial short and long deltas. We calculated the performance with P&L as a percentage of buying power, utilizing no management at all or stop losses at 75%, 50%, or 33% of the maximum loss. So I explained this wrong up front. Like, let's say, let's say you're... Let's say you sold something, a $5 wide iron condor for a dollar, right? Okay. Your maximum loss is $4, right? right? Yeah. So 50% of that maximum loss would be $2. Okay. So it'd be like 2x. You'd be buying it back at $3. Do you want to yeah, change your like you want to change your answer? No, I don't like that. You don't like buying it back. I don't. Okay. So management was executed using closing prices on the day that the stop loss was triggered. That's just to keep everything consistent. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is 40 delta, 30 delta. So 10 deltas wide. And as you can see here, because it's a 40 delta, you're, you're gonna end up with no stop loss is 48% win. And if you do the 50% stop loss, it's 37%. So that's not, that, all the edge goes to no stop loss. But then here's where the real key is. It's with the average P&L divided by the buying power. So how much money did you make based on how much money did you lose? And no stop loss crushed everything else. You were trying to trick me, weren't you? No. When you said, would you like to change your answer? You were giving me the Monty Hall thing, weren't you? No, I was just giving you every opportunity. I don't want, to, I don't want, I don't want you to be... You were giving me every opportunity to fail. I don't want you to make a fool of yourself. No, it's bad for the network. I want you to 
You know, I want. Oh my God! Did you play both sides of the coin? You are a master, dude. I, have I not just want people enough. like until they meet you or they watch you for a long time. I want them <laughs> to think that you know what you're talking about. I think it's important. Oh my God! So then we went to the next slide, John. And we looked at, we're going to look at a bunch of different iron condors here. And this is the 4020. So this is a much wider one. And what you saw here is basically the same results. If you stop yourself out for like, you know, 33% um, loss of your of the max loss. Let's say you did $5 wide to collect a dollar. Max loss is $4. You take 33% of the buck 33. And the answer here is, no, you're going to do really bad and you're not going to make any money over time. Your average PL is actually going to be negative. So every single one of these lines did better with no stop loss 75 percent, 50 percent, or 33 percent. they all did better um if you didn't do i mean i'm sorry doing nothing did better than than stopping yourself out let's go to the next slide when i tell people this they look at me like i'm crazy but we talk about it all the time 30 20 deltas this is more in line with what we actually do the no stop loss 56 percent. the 33 was only 41 and the 60 and the 50 percent stop loss was 49 percent but when you look at the numbers, the 50% stop loss was a negative number in the end, and the 33 was also a negative number. The only thing that came out positive here was the no stop loss. So, and again, the C bars are all, all pretty tight. I, I just think it's really important to recognize that, you know, with undefined risk trades, I feel like you have to adjust. With defined risk trades, it's a little different. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. And this is... Again, more in line with some of the stuff we do is a 3010 iron condor. No stop loss, 61% of the time it worked, which is exactly kind of where it should be. But the 33% actually returned negative. The 50% returned negative too. 50% of stop of the um, max loss. Um, and the no stop loss was a really positive return. Crazy. How much difference the, the how much difference the, those those numbers are? How how different those numbers are? Let's go to the next slide. And this will be the last one, which is kind of another one that we tend to do, which is the 2010. And we look at the 2010, you know, there's just, when you stop yourself out, there's nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Over time, right. this is 20 years yep. worth of research, but there's nothing in it. I mean, this study took like eight hours to run, but um, there's just nothing in this. So, so the more we go back and we look at these high probability trades, these you know seventy-two percent winners, you got to let them play out. Let's Understood. go to it. And 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 by the way, letting them play did out. You, did you think? Did you think it was going to be any different? No, I didn't. But I want to say something. I will manage those trades to twenty-one DT. That is not stopping yourself out. There's a big right. difference between stopping yourself out on a loser and managing a twenty-one DT. 21 DT just removes the outlier risk at the end. Doesn't hurt you other than that. Mm -hmm. Takeaways. The worst losers are often due to rapid, extremely rapid underlying moves, meaning additional value at risk was helped by very aggressive stop loss orders. Such mechanics resulted in large reductions in a percentage of winning trades and were generally counterproductive to total P&L. If, if you had already bought the wings looking to get out of the trade, going bad did more harm than good over the last two decades. So in other words, just suggesting that, you know, stay in the trade as long as you can or to that 21 DT or to expiration on the defined risk iron condors. Very good, sir. Good job out of you. Good job out of the team. We're going to take a quick 90 second break. We're going to have a lot of time for your friend. You know who I'm talking about, right, Thomas? No, because I don't have any friends anymore. This is true. You're a man on an island. Uh, my friend, Mr. Scott Sheridan, the Tasty Trade World Headquarters, coming up next. We need your phone calls, 855-238-2789 or 855-BE-TASTY. That's the phone number call. I know you enjoy our banter back and forth. Of course, we'll have some of that. But the sooner you call in, the sooner I can get to your calls. So give us a buzz now. Phone line's open. I got four or five lines open. The number should be below. If it's not, it'll be below soon. We'll be back in 90 seconds.